Right, all right, all right. Dr. Carlo Oger with EDX Video Pro. Today we're doing a clinical case. We haven't done one in a couple of days, so I'm excited about sharing this one with you. It's a quick and easy one. Let's get to it. This is a four year old female with discrete areas of erythema, which is redness, and underlying induration on each cheek, cheek of the face. Uh, she developed it in the last few days. There is no history of trauma to the areas. Uh, popsicle and frozen teething rings were put to the gums to relieve teething pain. And that's very important uh, for what you're going to see. This is a picture of what you're seeing. You can see the erythema and redness in the cheeks right there. And you can see it over here. And over here, you can see a little bit of the redness right there. So, even though it's red and inflamed, it's not an infection. This is called cold paniculitis. It was first described in 1902. Cold paniculitis refers to the inflammation of the subcutaneous tissues after exposure to cold, which is believed to induce crystallization of the saturated fats in the tissue. Young children are more likely to develop the cold paniculitis than adults because of the higher ratio of saturated fats in their subcutaneous tissue. Lesions typically occur on the chin and cheeks because of the areas of rich subcutaneous fat tend to be more exposed to cold than other body areas. Precipitating factors of cold paniculitis in children include popsicles or popsicle paniculitis. Ice packs used to convert SVT and exposure to cold environments. Clinically, erythematous indurated nodules appear in one to two days after the exposure to the cold. No treatment is necessary in cold paniculitis other than avoiding the offending source. The red lesions usually become purple with less induration, which is hardening, and resolve within three months. This patient had complete resolution of the lesions within two months. So I actually knew about uh, cold paniculitis before doing this little case review. But something I did not know is that it lasted this long. I would have expected this to go away in a few days. <clears throat> but it actually can take months for it to get better. And I didn't know that it was actually the crystallization uh, of the saturated fats in the soft tissue. So we learned that exposure to cold, especially in kids, can induce this erythematous rash with a little bit of papules and that can last for months after an exposure to cold. Of course, you need to avoid the offending problem and uh, it's because of the saturated fats in the uh, subcutaneous tissue that causes this problem mostly in kids. So cold paniculitis or another name is popsicle paniculitis. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something that eventually is going to help you make a diagnosis quicker and of course give patients better education and better knowledge. If you like this video, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to share it. Sharing it helps me keep making more videos in the future by encouraging me and stimulating me to create them. So, hey guys, take care. We will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.